Hey, what is going on everyone? My name is Dan and in today's video we're going to take a look at my top 5 least favorite Android phones that I own. I wasn't really sure whether or not I was going to make this video, but actually I thought let me just do it. Um, I'd like to know your least favorite Android phone if you have one and uh, let me know in the comment section below. Without further ado, let's go right into the video. So right here on the number 5th spot in my least favorite Android phones is the LG G4 Stylus. This is actually a grey area because in general I never really had a lot of issues with this phone but because the build quality this is actually in the top 5 least favorites. So it's a, it's a very nice large device. Uh, yeah, it's kind of slow. I'm using the Google Now launcher on this one since it looks very nice. And um, the reason why I don't really like it and it's a gray area because in general it's a decent phone which doesn't want to lock. It's a gen in general a very nice phone. Kind of slow at this moment because of course it's kind of old. But listen to this. You hear that? That's what happened in my pocket the whole time. And that's very inconvenient because I thought this phone is going to snap in half. And that is probably why I do not really like it. But I also do like it because the big screen also has a lot of pros. But without further ado, let's go to the next one. So the next phone on the number fourth spot is the Wolfgang ATAS 40D. As far as I know. The reason why this is in my top 5 is because the screen doesn't really recognize where you are exactly. This is a capacitive screen so it's not a calibration issue but if you would press like right here typing and hitting for instance the J it would probably go and click K instead. That's how this kind of works so that was one of the reasons why I don't really like it. Now one of the other things is it doesn't work. It's supposed to work. I have charged it a couple weeks ago in advance of this video. It doesn't want to work. It doesn't even want to set a charger or whatever. So yeah, it's a budget phone from like the local German supermarket. I am not German, but German supermarkets are in this local area. And this was about 50 bucks. And yeah, it is a budget model. It's dual SIM, but it doesn't work anymore. So I'll probably have to charge it for 28 hours or something. Maybe even more. Um, yeah, there's nothing much to show you with this one. But um, let's go right to the next one then. On the third spot, we have the Alcatel One Touch 991 or 991. This phone is literally on the third spot for a stupid reason. It is bloatware. And also it's not really updated anymore, but even for back in the day, this thing had bloatware on it. Look at this. We have battery saver, AccuWeather. Anti-Cyrus, Epson SD, Asphalt 6, Blockbreaker 3, Beveled, Facebook, uh, Install Wizard, uh, Layer, Mobile TV, Nighty Mobile and the T-Mobile Hotspot login, HRS yeah, Hotels, Office Suite, OY Shopping, Poringo, Pixay Preloaded, Ring Droid, Top Games, Top Apps, TuneIn Radio, Twitter, Traffic. And where is Wally, which is supposed to be where is Waldo? Now, of course, in general, these apps might not have been the biggest problem, but with the little amount of storage this phone comes with, the bloatware basically just fricks up everything. This is bullshit. You can't really do anything because the memory is full all the time. And if we go to the app manager, go to Facebook. And this is what apparently is downloaded, which makes no sense. As far as I know, you can actually remove the Asphalt 6 and everything. That is basically... You can remove everything from the downloaded, but I didn't download them. This thing is reset. But when we go to all right here, we need to go to Facebook. As you guys can see right here, we can now stop, but we can not remove the app. We can not get rid of Facebook. It's a 10 megabyte app, but whenever the updates come yeah yeah yeah. the updates 
it will actually fill the phone up with so much garbage that you can't really do anything with it anymore because the updates will flood the memory it will be not able to use this phone whatsoever because all the apps cannot be downloaded since Facebook's bloatware on this thing and to finish it off you can't even remove it it also makes it incredibly slow as for now uh, yeah it is what it is it's getting even slower if you have Facebook updated just that thing that part right there gives this thing the third spot in my top five least favorite Android phones on the second spot we have the Galaxy Ace but this is not the regular Ace nope this is the GTS 5830i which is a faster model according to Samsung and uh, basically this must be one of the worst phones I ever made because I had to friggin upgrade it to a custom kernel custom firmware and everything to stop it randomly rebooting and that was something that really pissed me off with this phone because in general okay it is way too expensive for what it is it doesn't even have a front-facing camera it does have a flash but for about 200 and what was it 230 probably something just above 220 bucks this phone was incredibly expensive for what it is and it it's slow it doesn't have good storage it doesn't have a good processor it doesn't have anything in general that would impress me for its price tag and me thinking i was getting a good phone i was surprised that it had random reboots which is stupid this phone isn't running the original firmware let's take a look here it is laggy it's running 4.1.1 uh, instead of gingerbread and yeah just because of the random reboots this phone is on my friggin top two because when you're trying to make a call or do something important and your phone decides it's time for hey it's the time of the day again to random reboot which actually is something that pisses me off you deserve a spot in my top five on the number second so yeah what's about to come is probably not a surprise let's go to number one on the number one spot this might not surprise you Galaxy Y yeah do I even have to explain why <laughs> pun intended um, okay let me just get this, this straight I never really understood why people actually made one of these things I never made one I just bought it just because I could and because I could get one for cheap I even have two of these now look at how laggy it is same old story with the storage it, it's about the same as a galaxy ace except it's smaller and doesn't have a flashlight and to top it off this thing is so incredibly slow the screen is so bad and how do people even use this thing i'm like what this thing came out in 2011 it was pretty much based on like younger people who got like their first smartphone and okay that's a good thing i mean okay you're basically just bringing out a smartphone that is basically right there for the younger people and probably children getting their first smartphone and it was probably perfect for that there are people my age and older using this thing in 2019 how do you use one of these things it, it is how it, it breaks my friggin mind it is so so small it has such a bad screen and if ever since the release people are using this that means seven years or eight years into the friggin past someone bought this eight years or seven years later still uses it and i hate this phone so much it's, it's it's literally just pissing me off seeing people who still use that thing in 2019. It, 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 it is ridiculous. There are so much more phones in the world. But nope, I have to use the Galaxy Young. Why? Someone explain it to me. I'm getting a mental breakdown because of that shit. Please, 
explain to me why people use this friggin' piece of garbage in 2019 or even use it in general if they're older than 12. How does one do it? With that being said, it's probably time to end this video. Thank you for watching and of course I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. If this video hits about 9 or 10 likes, I will be making a new video here soon. Anyways, leave a comment and also if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching and see you later. Peace out.